Zoom Flume is a water park in East Durham, New York, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I couldn't resist making that pun, because this place really has an unbelievable setting. This water park is built around a gorge, and some slides even go down there. So is this park worth visiting? Find out in this review of Zoom Flume. This park opened back in the 1980s, and it has a pretty remote setting. Along with that gorge, the park is essentially located in a wooded area at the base of the Catskill Mountains. This results in some sweet visuals. The tallest slides offer stunning vistas of the mountains in the distance. Then you have that knee-shaking visual looking down to the gorge. Several slides use the terrain to their advantage, but it results in the park having a really weird layout. There are three sections of the park. You have the lower section by the main entrance. This includes the lagoon activity pool, plus the two slides that head down the gorge. You won't have a big tower to climb at the start of the experience, but you will have a lengthy climb back out of the gorge afterwards. Then you have the upper section only accessible by navigating a series of ramps. Here you'll find a few of the tube slides and the lazy river. Then you have to cross a bridge going even further to access two additional slides that dump you a long ways from the slide entrance. Grand Prix Splashway ends by the park's main entrance. Then Wild River brings you all around the upper section and way back down to the lower section. The back section is accessed by a single bridge that crosses over the gorge. I'd argue this is an attraction in itself. There you have the wave pool and the park's newest slide in Typhoon Twister. The park is typically open from mid-June through Labor Day, and as of 2022, admission costs just under $40. This is pretty typical for most water parks nowadays. You won't have to pay for parking, but you'll likely need to pay a few extra bucks to rent a locker for your stuff. I visited on a day with a 100% chance of thunderstorms. It wasn't a question of if, it was more when. I had a 3 hour window before the storms rolled in and shut all the slides down, so it wasn't too surprising crowds were really light for me. If you visit on a busier day, let me know how bad lines can get here. The only two attractions with lines during my visit were the Wild River Family Raft Slide and the Typhoon Twister Bowl Slide. The former had the longest wait at 20 minutes even on a quiet day. Therefore, I would advise hitting Wild River first, and then heading back to Typhoon Twister. This should allow you to knock out the two busiest slides before they back up. Operations were pretty average for a water park, but I do want to shout out the employees. They were super friendly. There were two that stood out. The employee at Grand Prix Splashway was often singing and dancing with guests. Then the employee atop Wild River was splashing guests with water when dispatching the rafts. Now let's talk about the slide lineup. A lot of slides seem to be on the older side, and they most certainly look like it. The park didn't have as many thrill slides as I would have liked. I think the offerings suit families well between their lower intensity and low height restrictions. Many slides have just a 36 inch or 42 inch height restriction. The biggest thrill ride here was unfortunately closed for me. Canyon Plunge is a speed slide that starts with a shallow slope, but suddenly gets quite steep as you drop down to the gorge. It is an older slide, so it may have had a rough landing, but it looked really thrilling. The other slide that goes down to the gorge is Zoom Flume. Yes, a park called Zoom Flume has a slide also called Zoom Flume. I believe these are the park's original slides, so that may explain why. And these ride like older slides. You ride on mats, but it's a rough concrete trough. You will feel bump after bump on your way down, and you bang off the slide walls. It's not the most comfortable slide, and it doesn't offer much excitement. I also want to note the water used in the slide is absolutely frigid. The water is much more comfortable than the park's other slides. The park is adding another mat slide for 2023 named Rip Van Racer. This should offer a far smoother experience while also mixing in the racing dynamic. The park also offers two other body slides. These weren't too intense. Grand Prix Splashway is a triple hump speed slide down the hill, but it goes really slow. You can race others, but you'll struggle to build up much speed on this one. Mighty Anaconda is a body slide that dumps riders into an activity pool. It's a pretty mild slide, but watch your back on this one. You'll feel some of the joints between slide pieces. Moving on to the tube slides, the park fares much better in this area. The newest one is Typhoon Twister, which is a fun bowl slide. The initial plunge is shallower than other bowl slides but you have some nice lighting effects to compensate, and you still build up nice speed. The one downside with this slide is as a very strict weight restriction. No riders above 225 pounds are allowed, and you will be weighed before grabbing a tube. 
On that note, Black Vortex is another one with a weight limit. No riders above 250 pounds are allowed. If you weigh between 200 and 249 pounds, you must ride alone. Everyone else must ride in pairs. This slide takes place in total darkness, and you have a fun few turns. Twin tubing is another one requiring riders to go in pairs. This slide consists of a single long and shallow slope. It reminds me more of the hills you experience while sledding more than a traditional water slide. Then you have Wild River. This is a family raft slide built into the ground that slowly winds its way down the hill. This is another one with a bumpy concrete trough, but there are one to two solid turns the way down that will throw the raft around. Just make sure to hold on. If you want to relax, you have a small lazy river in the upper section of the park. Then you have a few pools. The lagoon activity pool is the tamer of the two. But every few minutes, a horn blasts and a giant geyser shoots out. Then in the back of the park, you have a solid wave pool. For kids, you have a few smaller slides, plus Wild Water West, which is a water fortress with countless ways to get drenched. I didn't try any food while at Zoom Flume because I was trying to maximize my rides before the storms rolled in, but it looked like they had a few stands available. So do I recommend Zoom Flume? It depends. If you're near the park and have a family with young kids, I think it's a solid option. Between that beautiful setting and the abundance of slides with lower height limits, they'll have plenty to appreciate. I just don't think this is the best choice for thrill seekers though. Even if Canyon Plunge were open, I just didn't think it had enough to keep me busy more than an hour or two. I can tell this park is meant more for families, and that understandably made up most of the crowds while I was there. The coolest aspect about the park is its location, which anyone can appreciate. So those are my thoughts on Zoom Flume, the scenic water park in New York. What are your thoughts on this park? Have you made it there? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.